Hello friends, welcome to Digital Trade YouTube channel. So in this channel, I talk about SaaS product reviews, online money making, internet marketing, and technology related things. So if you are interested in any of these, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel now. You can also uh, support this channel by becoming a member uh, of this channel. Just go to the dashboard of this channel and click the join button. So in this uh, video, I'll be talking about a tool called getemail.io. So with this tool, you can uh, find email addresses of anyone on the internet uh, at the lowest cost possible. They also have free version. Uh, so this video will be a complete tutorial on how you can use this tool, how you can find email addresses from LinkedIn inside your Gmail, ad uh, Gmail uh, account. Uh, if you just have their company domain name, you can find their email addresses and more. So now let's go to the laptop screen and uh, see how the product works. Okay, so now we are on the dashboard of getemail.io. So this is how the website looks like. Uh, so I will give you a quick overview of the pricing structure. Uh, so if you opt for the free month, you get you can find 10 credits per month. That means you can find 10 emails of a person. You can download them in the CSV file. Uh, but if you choose $49 per month, you can find 300 emails of the people and you can download that in the CSV file. You get a good support in PSS. So yeah, that's how the prices are increasing. I think the price of um, I think the price of ninety nine dollar is uh, worth it. But it's uh, up up to you, right? By the way, also I also help finding LinkedIn uh, leads uh, using LinkedIn and other tools. So if you like, you can just comment down below and I will reach out to you. Uh, now to get started, you need to let me show you by creating an account you need to sign up so you can use google uh, sign up option uh, one thing i would recommend is use a temporary gmail or google account because on this website i have found a lot of bugs so i would not uh, Trust this website hundred percent. So may, when you sign up, use a Gmail account that you that is not your main Gmail account, right? So make sure you do remember that. That's just a useful tip. So once you sign up, you can just go to the dashboard. Let me sign in with the Google account. Okay. So once you sign up, so this is how the dashboard looks like. Uh, it might get may, might be confusing at the beginning, but don't worry. So you need to download two Chrome extensions that are very useful. Uh, so make sure you download this get email.io for Gmail. Uh, this is help useful for finding emails inside your Gmail and use this their main chrome extension is this get email.io get the email of anyone this helps you to find email from anywhere uh, especially from linkedin uh, so make sure you do that once you download it i will show you a quick overview like once you go to the linkedin suppose right uh, let me go to the dashboard and show you uh, suppose i am on my linkedin page now uh, so i just want to find an email of any person suppose this person okay so once I make sure you install all the, both the extension, otherwise you won't see this, right? So you see this, uh, get email. So this is when you, when you will see this, um, once you install the extension, right? So I need to find the email of this person. So what I will do is I'll just click on get email. So the algorithm will start finding the emails now. So as you can see, if the email is not found, the software will tell you. Uh, let's try finding the email of another person. Let's try finding the email of this person. 
so as you can see the software was able to find the email of the id of this person now there are two email ids so one of them might not be verified you need to verify the emails also if they are correct or not uh, otherwise once you start sending email they might get uh, go into the spam or may get uh, may bounce so you, you need to be careful so this is how you find the email ids inside your linkedin uh, now talking about gmail so you also install the gmail right so just go to the uh, you will see this uh, get email option once you install it on the right hand side so you need to click on this find people in company you need to type any company name that you have like maybe we work uh, i will just type in any company name and it will show maybe i will type dell you can see uh, the company names i can find i just have to click on it and it will start finding the emails So as you can see, I type uh, the software was able to find some email IDs of yours. Uh, all these green colors are the email IDs, and if you if the software could not find it, you will see this. So all this email ID will be stored into your prospect list inside your dashboard. I will show show you that. You can also compose an email from here and just uh, send the emails directly to the leads that you find. Uh, so that is up to you. You can also click find more so it will start finding new IDs. Uh, you can type the name of the person if you know the first name and last name of the person. Uh, maybe I know if the person is name of the person is Y Bao. So it will find all the people that are with that name and associated with that domain, right? So that's how you do it. Uh, so this was the part of Gmail Chrome extension. I also showed you the part of LinkedIn Chrome extension. Uh, you can find how many credits are remaining mm -hmm. now that's what it is now let me go to the dashboard again Now in the prospect section, you can see that all the emails that you find uh, will be stored into the prospect section. So these are all the emails that we found uh, and all if the software not not able to find, you can see not found. Uh, if you see green, that means the software was able to find uh, the company name or uh, uh, name of the person from this domain. So that's how you do it. You can check it like this. You can move to the other parts and yeah, that's how prospects are stored inside your so you can just uh, one more thing you need to worry or you need to look like you can see here uh, you can also do, find from here like if you know like and if you know the first and last name of the person and also the company domain name like digital trade is our company domain name uh, so i'll just click on find the software will be able to find the emails so you see the email found by digital trade so this is how you can do you can also download all these prospects into the CSV file. Let me download it and show you. As you can see, uh, let me just open it into Google uh, and let me show you how the prospect looks like. Just upload into the Google Sheet. So as you can see, uh, so this is how the prospect looks like. Let me clean the clean the webs. Let me do the formatting of this uh, sheet properly. So as you can see, you can find the their LinkedIn profile ID, their name, their email address, uh, their domain of the company, the company website, their position, uh, and few other in their industry. Uh, and yeah so this is the detail that you get in the chrome extension let me go back to the prospect uh, section uh, now what you can do is another is verify so once you find the emails that's great um, now you can also verify the emails right now all the emails that the software find is not valid right there may be some emails that are not valid as you can see here that is bad that means if you send this email it will bounce so if you are running email campaign then it is not uh, you should remove this email so how you verify the emails 
can individually uh, copy and paste the email. Suppose this is our list and this is the email I want to check if it is valid or not. I will just copy this email from here and paste the email and click on verify. Uh, so the software will start verifying the email. We are verifying the email. And it's good email. That means you can send mass email and it will not valid. You can also um, upload the list or to verify your emails. So how you do that? You can click come to the upload CSV file. And here email verifier, you need to upload your CSV file. So suppose I have a Google sheet and these are the emails that I want to verify that if they are valid or not. So what I will do is make sure all your emails are in the first column and just download this file as your CSV file. And come to this section. And now you need to upload the CSV file. So you need to upload uh, your CSV file. So just click on the CSV file. So the formatting format should be like this. The first column should include all your emails uh, like the like this. Uh, we have all your emails on our first column. So download that as a CSV file. You already did and just now upload it over here. And once you do that, um, just um, click on, you, can, you just need to, uh, you don't have to worry about this, just uh, tell the software that which one is the email column. So this one is the email column. Uh, now just submit it and the software will start verifying your emails. As you can see, the emails are starting to get verified. I already verified this list before. Uh, so you can see track the progress over here. Um, you can download your file from here. Um, so it is working now. So make sure you refresh the list from here if you are not seeing any progress over here. So just click on the refresh uh, row and you will see that all your emails are now being verified. So all you need to do is download it from here. Uh, let me see. You can see 10 email looks good. That means uh, four emails are not valid. And let me open it in a new file and show you. Uh, let me upload this file. So as you can see, um, all the emails that are good emails that are safe to send and all the emails that are bad emails are not valid and should be removed before sending the email campaign. So that's how you verify the emails in the bulk. So basically you can also do this way, right? So let me give you just idea. Uh, suppose this is a prospect lead. So all the emails that you are finding from your LinkedIn or Gmail that you will get here. So, so just download this CSV file or make your all your emails in the first column and just upload it here and you will get all the verified uh, emails that you can send as an email campaign. So I hope you got the idea. Mm, yeah. One more thing that you can do is upload a mass email, right? So find the email address from a list of prospects. So what you do here is, uh, let me show you. Uh, so what you need to do is, uh, you need to upload a file with this format. The first column, first name, suppose you have first name of the person, last name of the person, domain name. So website name, like my name is Vaibhav, last name is Patil. A domain that is the company that I, company or the website that I have is bgliterate.com and the company name is bgliterate. So if you have these four details or even if you have the company domain and not company name, then you just need to up have this CSV file. Let me show you an example. Uh, suppose this, uh, suppose these three things you have first name of the person you have, last name you have, and email, uh, website, uh, either you have the website of the company or you have the company names, uh, right? Like these company names you can see. Uh, so any of these things, so you can just, uh, download this as a CSV file. Mm. Let me show you download this as a CSV file and you need to come over here and just upload this file. So once you upload this file, the software will automatically analyze this list and give you the email ID associated with the company name or the company domain. Uh, also, uh, they will analyze the first and last name. So that's how you do it. So uh, yeah, so that completes our whole software uh, analyzing. Uh, there are some bugs here uh, that are there in the, so I, that's why I told you that 
uh, use your uh, temporary Gmail account and not permanent. Otherwise, the software is safe to use and are used by many people. Uh, so that concludes my video. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like that, do subscribe to my YouTube channel now. And you can also become a member of my YouTube channel by clicking the join button on the dashboard of the channel. It will be a great support for me. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.